Hello, good morning, all of you. Online guys. Krishna, Tripathi, Sai Tej, Yogi. Good morning. Very good morning. All right. So before going to start the session, good morning. provide you over mail ID and phone number. Please provide your mail IDs and phone numbers in the chat box. Okay, so as of today's demo, we will see, first of all, the significance of SQL part, why we need to learn SQL, and so what we need to learn in SQL part. So that is all we'll see today. So before going to the session, I would like to explain, first of all, introduce myself first, briefly. My name is Sridhar. Total 10 years of experience. I have an industrial experience. Involved in, I involved in a lot of databases like DB2, SQL Server, Oracle, and MySQL, Teradata. These are all databases I supposed to be work from past 10 years onwards. So according, that is my hands-on experience. I'm involved in several domains like banking, insurance, clinical, waste management system like this. According to the teaching experience, so I am taking the batches from past to four years onwards. I am representing from Venet Technologies, SQL pure SQL batches, 
in the morning and evening as of my timeline conducting the batches here. Then see, today's agenda is, we are going to be covered today. This was the topics. These are all of the topics for SQL only. What is data? Before going to talk about SQL, we should know about what is mean by the data. And data formats and data storages. See here. First, before going to talk about SQL, we should know about what is mean by the data and where we can store our data, where we can preserve our data. And the structured data presence in databases, how the data will be presented in table format. Structured means in an organized collection of way. How can we arrange the data in a table format? And once if we purchase the database, how can we construct the database either in on-premises level and in cloud platform? On-premises area and cloud area. So how can we store the database? How can we preserve the database? For example, as it is like as a house. Yes. If we want to stay in Hyderabad two, three months or else one year. To store one year in Hyderabad, we don't require to purchase a own house. Or else lifetime, if you want to settle in Hyderabad, then we require a permanent house is required. As for the purpose, so either it is on premises or a own or a rental, then we'll decide the same way here also. As for after purchase the database, so what kind of database we are expecting and where we have to be configured, either in on premises level or else in cloud level, then where we have to be construct this database to work. That is mean by the two environments they are providing, either in on-premises or cloud data storage. Then after database providers and vendors. So who are providing the database for us to be work or else to store our data? Keep on years and years and years. In one place, if you want to maintain a data, then how can we construct this product? And how many and how many vendors are providing for us the databases? And which one is a better here? That is, we are going to talk here in databases and database providers. And SQL overview. Yes, what needs to be learned in SQL part exactly? And why we this is why this SQL? how much importance we have for the SQL, what we should learn in SQL that is over, overview then we'll see in SQL part. Okay, right. See, first point is, before going to talk about the SQL, if data, if the data is not there, then we don't require SQL we need not to talk with the databases or we need not to interact with the databases. So if our interaction is not there with the database, we don't require any SQL part. We don't require any SQL part we don't require. That is what first main data is a main here. What is mean by the data? Data is nothing but Pure, it is unit of information. The unit of information or collection of information is called as data. <coughs> See here, if you are saying something <coughs> about 
employee employee id employee name and employee location address this is all information about a employee or else for example car car color car manufacturer model cc okay so this is all about the information of the car this information may be in a format of numerics or a characters or image audio video any format it is yes we can collect this information in any format for example we are taking this selfies why we are taking the selfie or a video yes that is that is also the data pure that is also the data it is after 2 years today so i take a snap after 2 years then we can see and we can realize so after 2 years back how i am that is also the image is also going to be described here the image is also going to be describe something else that is also saying about a data that is also saying about the data that is mean by the data must and should everything anything if you are taking in a world that should be in a data format that should be in a data format it is but how the data will be presented how can we in what which format we can take the data here the data we can take in three different formats one is structured data unstructured data and c semi structural data any data if you are taking in a world that should be come under either a structured format unstructured format or a semi structured format we require semi structured format we required here yes what is mean by this structured formatted data structured formatted means yes the data should be presented in in an organized collection of way or else in a tabular manner if we are storing the data like this employee id or aadhar id aadhar name and aadhar location aadhar location c for all 107 crores of aadhar cards so then we can store we need not to <clears throat> enter here for each and every person once if we are define a column name then 107 crores of aadhar numbers aadhar information we can load in this manner structured manner one organized manner then we can store it in this one we call it as a structured data when we can fix this structured data or any data when we can fix in a table format means whenever if we know the type of the data then only then we can fix in tabular format otherwise it's not possible yes aadhar number always should be populate in numerical format only aadhar name always should be populate in character format only it's not going to be change even though if it is 107 crores of aadhar cards yes aadhar number is not going to be change for all persons aadhar number should be in a numerical format only it should be populate in number format only or else aadhar name it is yes always the aadhar name should be populate in characters only so that type of data we call it as a structured data yes we can fix the data type aadhar id numerical value always it should be populate in numbers only always it should be populate in pure number format only that type of data we call it as a so structured data then unstructured data see unstructured data means yes we can't fix in a tabular format 
all digital marketing websites, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. So all these are all our digital marketing websites. But if we are having in Facebook 500 members or 500 friends, if somebody is asking what they will post next hour, but we can't say here what they will post, maybe video, audio, image, text file, they can post it. Anything, whatever they want, they can post. They have a right to post anything else. The format frequently it will change. Sometimes it is coming in a text format. Sometimes it is coming in image format, video format, like this it's coming. So once the format is changing, then it is very difficult to arrange the data in a pure or structured manner. That type of data we call it as a unstructured data. That is a pure, we call it as a unstructured. Yes, there is no structure here. Fine. Some more is that semi-structured formatted data. Semi-structured data it is. What does it mean by this semi-structured data means? Sometimes it will come down in a format and sometimes it's not coming in a formatted way. That type of data we call it as a semi-structured data, semi-structured formatted data it is. Yes, data, take any data in the world, something about if you are saying any object that is called as a information that information should be either in a structured unstructured or a semi-structured format if you want to store the data that storage area we call it as a data storage where we are storing our data according to the system according to the system we are saying securely and years and years and years, if you want to preserve the data or store the data, that area we call it as a storage area, not only the system, anywhere else if you are storing. Why we need to store data? That is a one point. Yes, why we need to store the data? Means three questions here. What is going on? Yes, present. What is going on either in a business, or either outside it is. For example, business, take a business. And what is going on in a business if we are not storing? And we can't understand what happened. If we are not storing what is going on, then we can't say what happened. If you are not saying what happened, then we can't predict what needs to be happened. Three questions will raise always in a data level. What is going on? what happened, what needs to be happened. Present, if you are not storing, the past then we can't estimate. Our past we can't know. We didn't know about the past, what happened it is. And past, if you are not saying, then we can't predict the future. That is what mandatory we need to store a data. For example, ancient years also. So 50 years back or 20 years back, 100 years back, there is no system, even though they are loaded their data or else. So 1500 years BC, something is happened, archaeologist is saying. How the archaeologist is saying that one, how he know 15 years back happened this one, the based on this storage. Yes, something he, he found on the rocks, Based on that storage, now he is saying, yes, this was happened previous 15 years back BC, before Christ. If the storage is not there, then we can't say the history. And we don't know what happened. So that is meant by the storage is required. What is going on must and should. Then we need to track that one. We need to load that one. That is called as data storage. Yes, in any format, we can store in any format. Today, my business is going on. Yes, what is going on in the business? If you want to store any format, we can store it manually, then I can write in a book. 
or else then if I have a technical skills, then we can load in pure manually, then we can load in Excel file or a PDF file or else a database. In several areas, in several formats, based on our requirement, wherever we want there, we can store it. That storage area, we call it as a data storage. But see here, how many storage areas are familiar according to the system? So now, first one is file format. See this one, where we can store our data? In a file, then we can store our data. First, according to the system, the first data format is called as a file. Nowadays, lot of data formats are available. In file, lot of files are available. Doc format, Excel, and PDF, and then after XML, JSON. So, and these are all files, or PNG, or a JPEG, yes, JPEG format also. Yes, it is pure in image format. JPEG is a pure image format it is. These are all our files, our CV, if you want to store in a document format. We can store in a document format, okay? Document format we can store, yes, of course, that is also something else, data it is. It is describing our experience. It is describing our experience. In four or five pages, we can go and we can describe this one. That is also the data about my experience. We are stored in doc format or a PDF format, something. And Excel format. Some business is there. Simple business it is. They are very small business. Then if you don't have such a capacity to maintain large storages, but he want to track his business daily what is going on after six months, after one week, he want to watch. Then manually he is going to store in Excel format. Yes, of course. That is mean by the file format under file. But there is a disadvantage is there whenever advantage and disadvantage both are there. So to load a data, see here, if you are going to load a data in file format especially, huge volumes of data then we can't, we can't handle it. Lot of data. Suppose for example, if it is a simple business or 100 records or 1000 records, we can load in Excel, but for example, take a bank in one branch in one city. How many transactions will happen? Lacks and lacks of transactions throughout the city, throughout the country, throughout the world, how many transactions will happen? It's never ever possible to estimate it. Trillions and trillions of transactions will happen. Those are all if they want to load in Excel. Is it possible? It's never possible it is. Even though if it is a possible, it's a very difficult to be controlled. So very difficult to be controlled it is. The data, they can't control it. That is one, one disadvantage. In one place, if you want to store a data, so these are all files are not sufficient. And also relations. So one table to other table or one file to other file. If you want to make a relation, it's a very difficult. Physically, then we can't make the relation between the files. Between the files, physically, then we can't make the relations. So that they are introduced one more system is called as database process. Yes, database is a tool. It is a technique or this one is a tool to preserve our data in an organized manner, to preserve our data in an organized manner, years and years and years of data. 
that is what they are introduced the system or a tool called as database wherever we are going to be maintain our data years and years and years with the security with the pure secure okay that area we call it as a database it is database so database is not a tool database is a process see here database to store our data that is a tool it is this one is a so product this one is nothing but a product it is then we can purchase this one and we can load years and years and years of data under the database the most probably whenever if we are having nowadays so each and every business completely depend on online the most of 90 percent 80 to 90 percent of all business purely dependent on databases to store their transaction what is going on in the business immediately they are loading where they are loading immediately they are loading under databases for what for to know what happened in business for to know what happened in the business they are loading in a databases but majorly the databases are a support only structured data only structured means table formatted data it will load data is nothing but the collection of information about employee about a product order or a shipping or a clinical whatever details other card driving license passport number pan card details everything if you want to store then we should be arranged in a tabular or a table that is we call it as a structured data most probably the databases will support structured data and what is the advantage of this database means keep on then we can load a data years and years and years in one place and also we can make the relations between one table to other table physically physically then we can make the relations between the tables why the relations between the tables means to avoid the redundancy duplications if you want to avoid duplications or a redundancy in data level if you want to avoid the relations are important and also fast then we can go and we can get back the data years of data yes simple then we can extract it that is what the database are introduced database is nothing but this one is this area to store our data organized collection of data See, the database is nothing but organized collection of data. So, in what manner we are storing the data in database, but not like in a clumsy manner. Organized manner. In a one proper way, we are loading the data. So, in a table manner, we are loading the data into database. That is, we call it as a database. And it's a pure security. All of you online guys, please provide who didn't share your mail IDs and phone numbers so far under chat box. Please provide your mail IDs and phone numbers in chat box. All right. It is nothing but organized collection of data. That area we call it as a database. Years and years and years then we can store. For example, take a bank. Yes, so how many transactions will happen in one day in all over the world? Yes, access bank it is, for example. It is a spread over the world. This one is a spread over the world. Okay, all transactions, if they want to store somewhere else, but they can't remind them. 
by mind. It's never ever possible to remind by mind all the transactions. That is what they are depending on the system. Every transaction, once if it is done, then wherever it is, or Indian transaction, UK transaction, US transaction, any transaction it is, once if it is done, they are going to be load. Where they are going to be load? They are going to be load in database. For what they are loading? Yes, to recap this one. What happened in a business? Either a loss happened or a profit happened or a sale is going smooth or not. To understand the business, we required to store our data. We required to store our data in one place. That is what nowadays the business is completely dependent on. Business is completely dependent on the databases to store their data. To store their data, business is completely dependent on the databases. What is meant by the database? Database is nothing but organized collection of data storage. Organized collection of data storage, we call it as a database. In a relational manner, then we can store our data. Years and years. But outside, it is a business. See, who is the business outside? We can feel and we can touch this bank. But once the bank came into the inside of the system, it will be converted pure as a data. It will be converted pure as a data format. Anything, whatever it is, anything it is, bank or airlines or a shipping. So any business, any data, other information, for example, other card. So outside it is a card, but inside, once it is came inside of the system, other data, each and every person details, other ID, name, location, date of birth, address, everything is going to be loaded in a data format. Pure in data format, it will. That is what we required. Data is nothing but collection of information. Either it is in different formats, numerical format, text format, date format, image format, or audio, any format, then we can load it. For what? Why we need to load a data means, yes, today what is going on if you are loaded, then tomorrow then we can see what happened. If you know what happened, then we can we can go and we can analyze what needs to be happened. That is what. So data storage is required. If you want to store a large volume or a Hadoop data, then supportive system is required. We can store either in files or databases also, but files can't handle huge volumes of data. Huge volumes of data, so the data file can't handle it. Okay, so that then we are coming for this databases. Then we are coming for the databases. They introduce the system is called as database. They introduce the system, we call it as a database it is. Yes, this is also the product. Yes, this one is a tool actually, see here. It is a tool. These are all our organization names. IBM, Oracle, Teradata, Microsoft, Snowflake, MongoDB, MySQL, PostgreSQL, all are familiar databases in the market. So these are all familiar companies are providing the databases like this, IBM, Sybase, DB2, NetAzure, Infermix. IBM providing Sybase, DB2, NetAzure, Informix, Oracle database, and Teradata database. Microsoft is providing Access and SQL Server. Access and SQL Server it is providing.
and snowflake db mongo db mysql db and postgresql db see here these are all our very familiar databases in market just like as for example bikes lot of bikes are available in market lot of bikes are available right or wrong so many manufacturers are manufacturing providing the bikes for us not only single company hyundai bajaj bmw handley davidson royal enfield all are our organizations companies the companies are providing the bikes bike is a tool to travel one place to other place bike is a tool to travel one place to other place okay any bike then we can choose as per our requirement for example somebody wants to participate in a racing but he purchased an activa bike is it possible how he can participate with activa in racing yes activa is a bike but that is not the right bike to participate in racing they need to be purchased a high end model and somebody's requirement is mileage but he purchased wrong royal enfield enfield how th this one is going to be provide you the mileage not so that so many bikes are available so many manufacturers are providing the same same bike as per our requirement whatever we want then we can go and we can select here same process here also database is a tool to store our data or to maintain our data or to organize our data years and years okay whatever tool is the best for us as per our requirement then go and choose the tool that's it that is will be decided by the enterprise or either oracle database sql server database or a sybase or a db2 or a terra data they will select as lot of aspects they will consider see before going to purchase the bike example before going to purchase the bike what we did will observe so many things cost model cc style maintenance these are all we'll observe same way so here also how the database will work is it provide the security or not so what about the maintenance what about the cost effect these are all they are going to be observed according to that they will purchase the tool according to that they are going to be purchase the tool yes this one will be happened the fastest database in a world that is called as ibm database sybase sybase is the first database okay fine we are decided anyway we have a business simple business is there with us so or see here i have a small business i want to store each and everything everything means what is going on in my business i want to keep it in somewhere else that is what i decided to purchase something or a sql server or oracle yes after purchase the database how you want to be construct this one how we want to construct or either it is on premises level or in a cloud means yes once if we purchase a land or as per our requirement we can go and we can purchase our own house or a rental house see here this one we call it is a on premises on premises it is and this one we call it as a cloud
this one we call it as a cloud platform it is on premises and cloud on premises means see everything we have to be controlled like our bike own bike it is yes purchase maintenance so everything then we have to be controlled but this one is secure without our permission no one will touch this one that is called as won't so same here based on the purpose based on the purpose then we can go and we can construct on premises once after the purchase the license from this corporation sql server for example if you are purchased then we can construct the sql server either in on premises or in cloud yes we have our own space if you want to construct our own room our own house then everything we have to take care land purchase then after maintenance building construction everything we have to be controlled but premises is very secure no one will touch without permission yes how it is i want to stay in hyderabad permanently then go and go and purchase the house own house if it is a own house everything should be controlled by us yes if you want to stay in hyderabad 2 3 months only just or 6 months only then what we'll do then go for the rental house everything is a service same here also cloud is an environment cloud is a platform or cloud is a environment somebody else are providing for us somebody is else are providing for us everything as a service software as a service hardware as a service maintenance as a service space as a service everything as a service we need not to bother about anything else as per our requirement simply pay them each and every month then use and leave it that's it that is mean by this on premises that sorry cloud so many vendors are there in cloud again lot of vendors are there to provide so microsoft that is called as azure google cloud then after redshift then after salesforce and amazon so lot of cloud platforms are there just like as a simple rental house so whenever if you are coming to the rental house we need not to bother about so purchase land purchase building construction and these are all then we need not to bother about it simply each and every month pay them and use it that's it once after the purchase the database as per our purpose what type of data we want to load what type of data we want to load either a business data or analytical data or operational data so or else warehouse historical data what type of data we want to be load and according to that then we can go and we can construct this web database yes after construct the database yes if you want to interact with this database to say something insert the data load data delete data update data so this kind of operations to maintain or to manage the data in database we required a language we called as a sql sql is a pure language it is sql server is a tool sql is a language initially we call it this one is called as a sql so it is introduced by this ibm corporation 1970s to speak with the sibase then later 
So that is included in ANSI standards. Now we call it, uh, this one is called as a SQL. But the SQL is not for single database. Once the SQL, SQL is there with us, once if you know the SQL, then we can go and we can interact with all databases. We can interact with all databases. For example, if I know the driving, how to drive the bike, yes, we can drive any bike. So far, just I use, suppose I used here Pulsar. By sudden, I purchased that Royal Enfield. Yes, Royal Enfield driving is also safe, but functionality won't be varied. Driving won't be varied here. Which one will be varied? Only the thing is environment will be varied. Environment means so, and bike model, and bike weight, CC, features will vary. Same thing here also. SQL is a language to speak with or to communicate with all databases. Oracle, Sybase, MySQL server, access, ingress, Teradata, all databases if you want to communicate. SQL is a mandatory. So, all kind of workers, all developers are required, Power BI developers, application developers, any developer it is. The all developers were required to land SQL server, to land SQL server, or sorry, SQL language. Yes, why? Because the most probably the data will be presented under databases, not in files. File level data is very small. Huge volumes of data will be loaded in databases only. If you want to interact with the database, mandatory we require, SQL part is required. SQL part is required. Otherwise, then we can't communicate with. If I don't know Telugu, then we can't interact with the people in two states, Telangana and AP. Right or wrong? Same process here also. If I don't know the SQL, then we can't interact with databases. So why we need to interact with the database? If you want to handle the data, then must and should. We need to interact with the databases. If we are a BI developer, any business intelligence developer, so with ADF, MSBI, or a Power BI, or application developer, so who are experts in Java, PHP, .NET. So all people, so these are all developers should require, all developers should require here, database knowledge is required. Mandatory skill it is. Even though if we are not mentioned under resume, three years or four years .NET developer or Azure developer or Power BI developer, so they will consider so he worked on three years in database, SQL file. All of you online guys, who didn't share your mail ID so far and phone numbers, please share your mail IDs and phone numbers under chat box. So this was the way the lectures will happen daily. So one hour session will happen. And this is, we are going to be covered here. It will take around 30 to 35 hours. It will take the course. 30 to 35 hours it will take. Hours. Daily one hour session. Monday to Friday and Saturday depends. Depends on your availability and my availability based on that will go for this Saturdays. 
So this course completely designed for four plus or five plus years of experts who are who are looking for to place four or five years of experience in pure SQL or in a combination, then you can get this course. And this course level, all materials, each and every topic material, live video session, practical sessions. So FAQs, interview queries, this interview queries, which we are going to be provided, that is a more than sufficient, that is more than sufficient to crack your interviews. 90% then you can answer it. These are all topics we are going to be covered here. And also, I will give you the project finally. Near real time project, I will explain. I will give you. So it will take 20 to 30 hours. It will take to practice yourself. So this was the way the lectures will happen. And tomorrow, tomorrow we have, okay, one more session. And uh, tomorrow we have a second demo. Same time, 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. I will give you complete practical. Today we are discussed the theoretical part. So then we'll provide tomorrow then completely. So theory practical part I will show you. So on 10 to 11 a.m. only. So if you have any queries, guys, please raise your queries online, guys. All of you, one by one. Thank you. You will you uh, within one two hours then you will get mail from me, and if you want to speak with me personally, then you can find out uh, my number under the mail. 